What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Rocket Live. And uh, this is uh, this is our holiday episode. Uh, you know, c- kind of festive. I got a Slayer shirt on. <laughs> Move this way. I'm the wrong way here. Um, got the, the Santa Fedora rocking today. Uh, I am joined by my good friend, Carrie Accardi from 420 Media. And uh, I, I love ending... Well, I... I guess this is our second to last show of the year because we'll have one more for next year. But I'm really psyched to have you on as we get into our our holidays uh, episode here. And uh, thanks for coming on. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Chris. I, I have to tell you, that was hands down the best wait before an interview ever. <laughs> I was literally like jamming out. I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. So I'm ready to rock it with you today. And nice. After a crazy year, especially for sure, for sure. So thanks for having me on. Yeah, absolutely, no doubt. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's rocket, so got got to get a rocket intro going. Um, so hey, so as everybody who's watching this and uh, will be listening to it eventually on an audio version, um, you know, please send us your comments or questions as we're going here. I want to thank everybody who's been watching right along. Uh, all after you know many many months of doing this, it's been great. I appreciate everybody's support as uh, we've got along and hopefully you guys have really enjoyed the interviews and today's episode will not be a letdown for sure. Um, Carrie is awesome. I've known Carrie for a bunch of, bunch of years now and uh, she is just totally rocking it in the cannabis CBD, CBD space. And she is like a, a titan of, of industry <laughs> when, it comes, when it comes to uh, media and marketing. She's an executive producer. She's the owner of 420 Media, as I said, and uh, I wanted to have her come on so we could talk about her story, talk about what's going on, because she's got some big, big plans for 2021, and uh, and of course, wanted to really share all this information with you guys. So here's your chance, too, to ask any questions that you want, and uh, so here we go. So Carrie, tell us a little bit about your backstory. I, I know I've had you on in the past, like years ago, but uh, I think it's just worth like telling, framing it up a little bit and telling your story about, uh, you know, how you came to, to create 420 Media. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, uh, we just approached my seven year anniversary, December 10th, 2013. I left on a left New York on a mission to educate the world about cannabis after my aunt died. So I started very much as an activist and very, very sad, really, like really pained. And I knew, you know, not only as a cannabis user, but as someone had been researching a lot that cannabis oil could have helped her. So I and I also knew, like coming from a big family that um, no one would listen to me unless I knew what I was really talking about. And so that was my first thing on the agenda. I was really fortunate. I knew one person at the time that owned a collective or what they would call a dispensary right now. And I went up there, it was in Northern California. And literally that night I was in a political council meeting. The next morning I was up uh, very early learning how to grow. I was really fortunate. I was able to um, not work in the dispensary, but like trail people in their section. So I really was able to understand what is an intake? What does a patient have to go through? What are, what's a clone? What is a product? Um, 2013 was a different time. So uh, I was able to sit with lawyers, lobbyists, patients. And I mean, I was so fortunate to just get inundated with a lot of this information. And um, in January of 14, New York quasi legalized through executive order. And I knew they had no idea what I was seeing now. So I called a former colleague and I said, I'm going to start at that time a video production company to showcase the uh, plant for the miracle she is. Did he want to be involved? He said yes. And that started the journey. Um, From that point, I basically, you know, I really, uh, again, started from the bottom. I went, I have a big family, so I've been really fortunate, able to travel a lot, right? Because it's expensive. And um, so I went to my dad's who lives in Arizona, built out a business plan, went to Oregon. It was Super Bowl of 14. I was at my cousin's. He took me to a Super Bowl party. I found someone there that owned a dispensary. 
called that my former partner and said, um, I'm flying you out and we're going to film. And so we did, we came in and we set up shop and we were, we were taking photos of herb and, uh, we were getting testimonials and, and he, he was an MS patient here. He is an MS patient. So we were getting really valuable content to put our sites together. And, th and that's what we did. We put our, our, our social media together, our LinkedIn, our website. And I remember telling him, and, and it's really probably important for your audiences, you know, mm -hmm. don't worry about what other people think right now. Okay. We are building something and we need to build our own infrastructure. And so don't worry because there's always going to be this noise. And, right. and, and it turned out to be really true. Um, so we, we built our stuff and ended up in Washington, Seattle. We filmed the first Seattle cannabis tour legal. We had such synergy. We moved there. And, you know, that, that again, started this trajectory got my first screw over with money, which, you know, it happens and uh, it caused a lot of issues. So, you know, these are the things I had to learn as I just went on this mission, but at the same time I was building a business and I wasn't, um, it was really conflated at the time, you know, yeah. it was so mission-based, but, you know, since then we, we've, We've filmed six years. We have content um, that that partner and I have, have um, uh, since broken, but we're still friends. We're cool. I just had a bigger mission. Um, we've hit huge milestones. I have um, I have fought people, really high level executives with with television and otherwise, to get this information out to the mainstream. We are in a, in, in a place with cannabis that we have what's called an endocannabinoid system. We have receptors for the plant. And how dare you feed us these pharmaceutical commercials telling us the side effects are just completely awful. And right. yet you won't give us one piece of information about cannabis. And so that's really what happened, Chris. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you know, a lot of, lot of going, going, going. Yeah. And, you know, here we are in, in going into 2021. I have some big announcements. It's not even me. I have a partner. I have an awesome person that's coming in to help launch our Omni channel. That interview will come out next week. Mm -hmm. She's a Jersey, New York girl. Uh, super smart, super experienced in the highest level of executives. So I don't want to I don't want to say too much on her. I yeah, wanna yeah just go out but she'll be making some announcements on our series what we're be, we'll be doing in the in in 2021 and you know we have six years of already professionally filmed content i mean over 300 people on camera to camera every ethnicity every age every job title and they all agree on one thing and that's cannabis should be legal and cannabis is medicine and so i'm ecstatic where we are right now and right. so much so i took on this crazy holidays program that you're a part of yeah and uh so now we're it's so funny chris because we were going to be <laughs> shooting this and you know with covid right everything just really it's just literally states were closing so you know i've been really busy working on the channel and stuff but i'm i'm friends with santa like <laughs> I'm Santa, so I'm like, how do I not do something after this crazy year? And so, so Santa and I talked and he was like, yes, you're a good little elf and I agree with you. <laughs> and then I was like, well, let's bring in some other helpers and elves. And I, we did. And so it's so funny. I just, I'm so proud of my friends and colleagues. I really am because this is not how I normally work, but I am producing from afar. Um, and normally how I work, I'd probably be the Grinch in this. So this is a good thing. It's not my norm. I'm, <laughs> and just, we're going with the flow, like 2020 has taught us. And what happened was I literally just asked colleagues and said, Hey, will you give us a segment on education? And will you give us a baking segment or, or a musical segment or whatever? And my only ask is make it holidays, put a hat on, put some reindeer ears on and do something. And I can absolutely tell you, they did not disappoint whatsoever. 
So uh, we're gonna run that on Christmas, and you know, it's really it's it's just it's just a fun educational. There's some patient stories right. and some, some information from doctors, and there's some you know on terpenes, and we and we have some from musical guests, and uh, it it's just it's just awesome. And 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 what happened with it was we were gonna do um, we were gonna do this. Um, uh, like a giveaway, a seven day right. giveaway after Christmas. And we had, we, we have some really great donations. We have a Jamaica four day, three night, all in trip. We have um, scholarships for medical professionals to get education and multiple and, and, mm -hmm. and a bunch more products. But, but what I wasn't able to do was I wasn't able to promote as much as I would have liked to, because I was, I was just too busy, really like not good, busy, too busy. Right. And, and yet with that, I, I recognize that we have the support, we have the donations. And I recently heard that, you know, some of our, um, our college children didn't really hit the mark where they needed to hit the mark in their fundraising. So we're going to piggyback this little series we're doing. We're going to do some sort of auction in, in um, February. We're going to invite people in, probably do some, you know, and probably invite right. you, get some donations. We're going to get these bids going through through a legal mechanism online. It's a different um, mm -hmm. stuff. And the money will go directly to these organizations. So now, I'm can, excited about that. Where can people watch this? Like, because it's it's coming up. Is it, is it coming up? Like, it's coming up. It's airing on Christmas Day. Is that what's yeah. going on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where can, where can everybody watch that? It's going to be on our YouTube channel and then we're going to do it across um, as many outlets as we can, Chris. So we have a mm -hmm. bunch of media partners, but right now I'm asking people to subscribe to our website, which is 420media.us slash high holidays. And so, and it's holidays, H-O-L-I-D-A-Z-E. And so, um, and then I have a web, uh, a YouTube link that I probably should know. And I don't right now. So. <laughs> well, we'll drop it in the comments. So we'll, we'll yeah, uh, afterwards we'll put yeah. it in the comments. So, but yeah. So basically, it'll be uh, you'll be able to watch this um, holidays variety show, <laughs> four twenty variety show. And it's yeah. And we I don't even know what we're gonna do, like because we still have people submitting their segments. So I right. literally put on the website last night. We're definitely launching on Christmas. Maybe before. We're not sure. We're going to just go with the flow. Maybe after too. We're not sure. But definitely. So just subscribe so you get all the notifications. <laughs> yeah. Definitely on Christmas. Because these people keep getting submissions and I'm like, oh, I, I mean, we can't have a 12 hour long um, show. It becomes, right? like a, it becomes like a telethon, like a, like the, like the Jerry, <laughs> Jerry Lewis telethons. That's what I want to do with the auction. That's what <laughs> think about that and I was like oh man this could be cool we could really raise a lot of money you know for for a couple of these children related organizations mm -hmm. while giving exposure to brands giving exposure to information and knowledge so that's what inspired me and I think I'm just addicted to creating even though I I need to stop at some point yeah so, you know but it well it's what it is you know it's you're a creator you're, you got the bug <laughs> You can't ever stop. And Jer I mean, look, Chris, Jersey's legal now. Jersey is legal. So, of and, and we're one of uh, the six states that that legalized this year. So, um, and things are on the way. You know, think things are moving forward. Actually, I think just this week, you know, they they finally started passing some legislation. So we're finally moving towards you know getting everything together, um, which is really exciting and. Um, you know, and even in the Fed level, you know, they're they're trying. I mean, the, the House passed, uh, you know, the, they're trying to get it decriminalized, and at least it passed one. I know it's, you know, whether it passes in the Senate, I think depends on who controls the Senate in uh, in, a, in about a month. Actually, we should know. But you know, the the thing is, at least it's it's moving in a more of a positive direction than not even being discussed or even brought up at all. So, you know, I think as more and more states come online and and, and get their programs going and you know, there's a lot to be said. There's a ton of work to be done across the board, but at least it's moving forward, which 
is uh, is the first step, you know, to ending the the prohibition here. And and obviously too, I think what you're doing because I I've been fortunate enough, um, you know, behind the scenes, everybody is to you know have have, have worked with with Carrie and known Carrie and gotten to see some of the content that she's produced and. And, uh, and what I really enjoy about it, what I think is great, is the educational side of thing and the focus on, on the health and wellness aspect of, of what cannabis and CBD brings. And I think that that's what I'm most excited about when you finally launch all the things that you're going to be launching coming through is the fact of, the, the fact of all the access to, to this awesome program you have with, with real like experts and authority leaders. Like... Um, so I think that that's a very cool thing. And I think that's something that the entire industry and, you know, everybody should be really excited about is, is learning some real information because it's been, you know, there's, there's, there's stuff all out there, but it's been, um, you, you know, you're not always sure where you're getting the right information from, you know, cause it's the internet, right? So because you saw it on the internet, it doesn't always make it true. And, you know, you have a lot of self-proclaimed experts, things like that. And I mean, and that's in any industry, but you know, with something like this, it's a little bit easier because there's not a lot of, you know, there aren't tons of regulations and all that. And so anybody can basically say whatever they want and, you know, you can present it as fact, but it doesn't make it fact. So I, I like that you're positioning the channel um, and the things that you're working on to be more in that, in that, that level. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's so important. It almost, it almost, I don't want to say it's more important than when I left on this mission, but the difference was that, that back then at least it was one stigma and someone didn't believe. Now yeah. same people are so-called experts and they're spreading false information because there's a money attached to this. And so this, this is very disconcerting for me because, uh, you, you you have the most vulnerable people coming to a cannabis medicine often. And right. people um, who are very sick and they, they really need medicine. And it, which brings me to a point, because I read something yesterday, I'm really disappointed in this, is about New Jersey is, you know, number one, again, going back to medicine, this is why home grow is so important, right? It, it, being able to grow your own medicine as we it's see so during important. a pandemic, being able to go outside and rip those, take those leaves off that plant, put it in your juice or put it in your food, create a salve, whatever it is you want to do. Um, it's really important. It's important as our rights. I mean, really as our rights. The other thing that really made me sad was if you do home grow in New Jersey, you can get 20 years. Yeah. 20 years that is not legalization that is not legalization no it's it's favoring it's it's it, you know you're basically cornering the market and saying well unless you buy from these approved you know then then it's illegal and it's like well exactly i agree because you know it's it, i don't have the same problem when i grow tomatoes <laughs> or or anything else i want to grow you know i don't i don't go to jail because uh you know, I didn't go buy it from from the supermarket. You know, it's it, it should it's should it's got to get to that that same level, right? Because what's happening is the people making the laws don't. Most of them have never met a patient, never been into a dispensary. There is no excuse for anyone in any state not to visit a dispensary at this point. It's twenty twenty. We have been legal since twenty fourteen in in Washington and Colorado implemented. Um, we have been, I've been watching the industry grow across the country. These stores are making money hand over fist, but not just the stores, the government is making money hand over fist and yet blocking the information, not giving the proper information, making laws that hurt people, making laws that hurt patients, making laws that hurt constituents that voted them in, that voted the plan. And why is this? It's based on a stigma. Why? Because cannabis was made illegal back in the 30s over hemp. Over yeah. hemp. <laughs> so again, at, you can, I mean, you know me already and how passionate yeah. I can get about this. But what I love about the fact that we are launching this network and, and Omni, it's an Omni channel with, with, right. with professionals that have, have launched a channel. This is not me. Um, it, and, and reaching those audience because they're looking, Chris, they're yeah. 
looking for these 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 opportunities to know. They're looking to use a medicine where they don't have to take 12 pills for their hands because they have arthritis. And yet they can take a lotion, right? Just a little bitty lotion here, rub it on their hands, and it's magic. Literally like magic. So this is my thing. And I now am so excited because we have so much content. We have a freaking amazing stellar team. We've yeah. got people like yourself that we, we not only put information out, but we work together and yeah. I, a lot of other colleagues and I'm just pumped. I mean, people come in here. I mean, anyone who comes in here in that competitive, they should just walk their way right back out because this is really an open market. Every a lot of people can make money. Not to say the competition won't won't eventually exist, and, and there's nothing wrong with competition. No, there's nothing wrong with competition. But right now, like our competition is the fact y'all are worried about uh, 280e taxes yeah. that we're paying 50 percent in taxes on local and, and 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 retail and all these other levels that you can't write off your advertising. No. All these things, which, by the way, Chris, I know you know your Jersey advertisers. You can advertise CBD. Well, you can advertise <laughs> cannabis, and you can advertise hemp. I was just gonna. I was just gonna ask you about that. So it's a great segue um, because it is. I mean, and, and this is a thing. A lot of, especially too, a lot of uh, you know younger businesses, business owners who are looking to really start their businesses, but they're not really sure where they can or can and can put things in their learning, you know, how to get their companies off the ground. So they're developing their products, they're developing their brand, they're getting everything out there. And then on top of it, you know, they're trying to also figure out their marketing strategy, where they can, where they can't go. And, you know, when you hear all these different things, and I, and I think that it's worth talking about, because yes, you can build out a very solid strategy, albeit yes, there's these other regulations and things like that on social and where you can and can't. But there are ways to get around it, you know, and there's there's ways to to still do the things you want to do. It's not impossible. Like you can advertise, you can market your your CBD brand, you can put it out there. I mean, right? I mean, and, and these are the I, things I wanted to have I wanted to have you talk about were, were some of those things that you can do because I don't think a majority of the people know that. No, I don't think so either. And unfortunately, you know. Some of my colleagues and friends are putting out false information as well. And I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to call anybody out. But as someone who has worked really hard to to help brands get this information out, if you don't know the knowledge, please reach out to me, Carrie Accardi on LinkedIn. I am we work with other agencies. We empower people to empower their clients, empower their distribution networks and all of that, right? What are we going to take every single CBD cannabis hemp brand? We're going to advertise for them and we're going to launch a channel. We're going to do all this by ourselves, right? I mean, like yeah. we people need to like come back to their senses because some, sometimes that ego gets in our way. We're like, go, go, go. And I get it. I get, obviously, I get it. Uh, you can advertise. You can advertise from what I know 100% because they are vendors and working with us. We have opt-in email campaigns, cost-effective, Chris, where you can opt in. I believe it's somewhere around um, $1,500 uh, $1, for like 50,000 emails for people that opt in themselves. So if I say, yes, I want to learn about alternative medicine, cannabis, CBD, pet products, whatever it is, right? right. I mean, this is across the board. Many advertisers you work with will know this because it's it's normal in any industry, whereas cannabis has, we've had steps, right? And so, so right. for me, I've been in this game and, and, and pushed some of this stuff since 14. So with clarity, now we can email campaign. We can do streaming TV, OTT. We can do it down to targeted on their uh, demographic, their right. age, their where they live. If you're a dispensary in New Jersey, we don't need to market to California. Just don't need to do it. So why not take the five zip codes around that dispensary and set up a, a, a integrated marketing campaign that hits on the ground and then it also hits digital? 
hits mobile, hits right. So we got mobile marketing with geofencing. We have billboards, billboards everywhere. You want billboard in Times Square? Call us. Let's go. Right? Like, you can put a billboard in Times yeah. Square. <laughs> advertising your brand. Uh, you can do it. I mean, it's much more cost effective than people are realizing. And so again, you know, I don't know where people are getting their information. I know for myself, I have watched plenty of other marketing panels and I'm very taken aback by the misinformation. If you don't know what you're talking about, don't say it. If you want to learn more, I give people free consultations all the time. I connect people all the time. Let's help these brands. Let's help their products because ultimately we're helping the viewers and the people who want to feel better, right? At the end of the right. day, they want to feel better. Right. Um, so uh, audio, streaming audio, how they have like, you know, Bloomberg and scripts and whatnot. Right. Again, do you want to hear your CBD brand in New Jersey or that dispensary or your medical clinic, right? You were looking, you're New Jersey. Hey, you looking for a card, looking for a medical card. Hey, you know, um, because we could do billboards, but again, billboards are hit or miss, especially during COVID because the travel has kind of changed. So now we want to step into that digital place a little bit. Um, and then we can go digital. You get so hyper targeted that what you and your wife are watching is different. So she, her commercials is going to be different than what you're getting in the same house because you're different. Right, and what people exactly. need to understand is that, that that exists and you can start to target these things. Um, when it comes to social media, you know, they're, they just play so many games. CB, uh, uh, Google did just approve CBD ads. I believe it was a week ago, two weeks ago. So um, there's a constant flux of change happening. I say, I'm happy. Please call 420 Media. We are happy to work with brands. We're happy to work with uh, uh, other agencies, and we'll 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 work with you. We'll 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 charge an agency fee. We'll give a referral. We'll work with you. But we're not going to leave you hanging, or you know what I mean? Because right. again, we have all these states that need custom marketing. And what do I know about being in in a small Lexington, Kentucky, let's say, where or, or, or a part of New Jersey, where where an agency that's already been working in that market and now they're adding cannabis into their their um into their realm they have this they know oh wow i can go here or hey let's call carrie or the team over at 420 media because this is what they do yeah absolutely and i, I think too i think it's worth talking a little bit too about um, some of the younger companies that are coming up, you know, that that are that are just getting in there and getting their brand established, whether they're opening a new dispensary or they're, you know, they have a CBD product uh, that's coming to market soon, or they have one that's on the market, but it's, you know, it's a lot of mail order and all that. What kind of advice or, you know, what kind of um, information would you share with them as far as, you know, what they can do along their journey to help get, get themselves started or out there more? I'm really big on... Um building the foundation mm -hmm. the infrastructure. So, so don't try to make a million dollars next week just because you think your product's so great because it's, there's right. just much more to that. And so I, I think if someone looks, I think take it and look at it over maybe a year, look mm -hmm. at it in three month increments, maybe quarterly or however, but, right. but you know, look at in a way where you can measure and you're not going to hit sales odds odds are you're not going to get sales just because you have a new CBD product because there's just too many out there right now. And even if you have a celebrity, there's a lot of celebrities out there, right? There are a lot of celebrities. celebrities. And so um, your unique selling position is, is really important, right? What makes you stand out, right? Are you a minority owned company? Are you a, 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 a LGBT, right? Are you a, a veteran male that has you know where where is your lane basically is you, and people here make fun of me now because i'm always about lane stay in your lane because if you stay in that lane and you own it then you're going to own that lane so many people they switch up right because right. laws change and regulations change you're like oh okay so they started media and now they're in testing and you're like well how'd that happen right mm -hmm. and so, so don't get even with the products and this is lessons I've learned because I've done this myself. Right, right. right. Is um, you don't need twelve products 
have two products, have one really awesome product yeah. and own it, you know, and then, then really look at who's your audience, who is going to take your product, right? Who is going to, and really, you got to get there. Everyone's like, oh, everyone's going to love my product. No, they're not. They're just not. And even if they do yeah. and they afford it, is it easily accessible to them? Right. Is this what are what are those um, um, issues that they might run into? So I think really getting like before you even necessarily hire an agency or, or work, know your why's. I, I call it your five W's. Right. Who, mm -hmm. what, where, when, why. If you don't know why you're doing this, I can tell you right now, your odds of you failing are really high because entrepreneurism is not easy. Mm -hmm. Selling CBT. Yeah selling media, selling courses, right? It's just not, none of it is easy. It's lonely. You know, you're like, feel like, oh my God, how, you know what I mean? It's really yeah, yeah. hard sometimes. And so I think people need to be really like honest with themselves, mm -hmm. what their expectations are. And then they won't be maybe as disappointed. Um, organic, so creating uh, assets, okay? Right. So many programs nowadays, you can literally put together a poster in, in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so, so creating that, what is your look streamlining it, right? Is your logo on right. it, your website on it, create those assets. And then again, create them for those individuals. Instagram is a Twitch, is a Twitter, is a Facebook. Am I going on a podcast? And then how can I reach each of those? Um, so it's layered and I think people need to look at it as a, as a layered thing and even marketers, you know, we some have their niche. I right. an overseer, right? I'm an executive producer is what they would say. And then I work with all the awesome experts, right? But I'm not the one experting. I just go to people like yourself and say, hey, um, do this and, and do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> So I think, net, Chris, networking is huge, as you know. Yep. Um, go to these events. Go to any event you can go to. If you can't go in person because of COVID, because <clears throat> COVID, it's going to change. We're, we're going yeah. to produce a life. It's going, yeah, things will come back online probably more in the second half of next year, but they'll come back. But there's a lot of virtual events. So many cool uh, Emerge conference. They we, we were working with them. They just had a great, it was a real cool virtual conference. You can have an avatar and you can like go through the booths and you saw the panels. Like it was fun. You're like, check it out. Oh, this is, this is fun. Right. And then you have other ones that are just really panels like hate straight education from doctors that could be on a Zoom or whatnot. They have um, like, all these different networking events I've been seeing, I can't wait to jump on them. I've just been too literally like, oh, if I jump on this, I don't get this, this, and this done, and my list keeps growing. I'm psyched for 21, 2021 to really go into those networking right. groups myself and introduce, hi, you know, my name is yeah. Kerry, and, and this is what I'm doing. What's your name? You know, and, and those, because what happens is when you see that person in Vegas or you see them in Jersey at an event, you're like, hey, I know. I've been talking to you for six months. You know, how can we work together? And then you're going, hey, meet so-and-so. Carrie and I have been talking for six months, right? And so you keep yeah. you keep that engagement. Well, I that's how we met. You know, we met through our mutual con contact, uh, Dr. Dave, you know, yeah. Dr. Dave Kunick. And I went to an event with him. He invited me to an event and was like, you have to meet my friend Carrie. And I met you. And, you know, so, I mean, but that's that's as simple as it, as it goes. And you can still do that virtually as well until we get back to, you know, meeting each other in person again. But that's the exactly. same thing can still happen. Exactly. Exactly. And I think that's, you know, that's what I would tell people getting in. It's not easy to get into the cannabis space, even if it's in person. It's not easy to know who to trust. Unfortunately, so many people have been burned in this industry. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, I, I told someone the other day, I've met the best people ever in the world in this industry, and I've met the worst. I mean, repulsive, yeah. repulsive. And so we have to become aware. And I, I believe our network and, 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 and there's a few of my colleagues that are doing really good stuff as well putting faces to the names, putting faces to the information. Right, right. And that goes into the education. 
Well, you got to do your due diligence. You know, you really got to do your due diligence. Just don't take it for face value because, you know, anybody can be anybody, you know, especially on the internet, anybody can be anybody. So, you know, really do your due diligence. Like it's not, don't not talk to people, but you know, before you start going deep into a conversation or giving up maybe some really like um, sensitive information, like make sure the person you're talking to is really the person you're talking to. Like they are who they say they are, you know? And so you put in that little bit of due diligence and, you know, and make yourself feel comfortable, feel better that you, you're, you know, a person you're speaking with is actually like legit and for real and not, you know, someone who's just looking to take you for a ride and burn you. And I think that's what it is. I think people get intimidated because they hear words like endocannabinoid system or cannabinoids and this, right? And so, you know, for con artists and, and bad people, they can they can use things like that or, or, or I, I even grows. I've known growers have literally lost, you know, over $200,000 by listening to the wrong information. And so it exists out there, but you have to, you kind of have to find it, right? You have yeah. to look for this information. So I encourage people, yeah, look for it. Um, not everyone is terrible and not everyone is your best friend and has your best interest. It's just life, right? Yeah. Uh, work with people like you and me, because we actually do, right? We have integrity in our work, yeah. not, not because of anything else, but, but our own self, right? And so you right. find people like that. Um, and then, Google was like your best friend. Google. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I you know, to that, myself all the time. Yeah. I mean, to that point, you actually bring up a really, and this is something I wanted to ask you because this is something that, you know, even I get asked and I, you know, and I wouldn't consider myself an expert by any means. And, and, but it is one of those things where a lot of people like are very interested in, in using, you know, cannabis and CBD and, and they, you know, because they want to use it for medicinal purposes, they just want to use it because they want to make their lives better and all that. And, you know, and then they'll go to their regular doctor and their doctor doesn't really give them, you know, because maybe they don't believe in it or they don't feel comfortable giving that information because that's not how the system is set up and no one wants to be held liable and blah, blah, blah. And so then it becomes like one of these things where um, I don't think people know where to find the right information to get them the answers that they need because what you just said, they hear things like endocannabinoid system and, and all these things. And it's like, it just becomes like, it, it can be a little scary for people if they don't know like exactly what that is. And, and then therefore then they maybe start going down like the wrong road or listening to some of the wrong people or not getting the most accurate information. Where would be a good spot for people to go? Like what's a great resource that you know of that really gives like solid information for people who don't know anything about anything, but like really want to begin to learn about the real benefits and real information about, about the plant. Well, this is why we're creating our channel because right. I think it's very disjointed right now. So I can give a few sites for different. I think, I think it helps us to give at least a framework to say, Hey, this is, this is a great site. They have good information. Yeah. I mean, I think even our own pub MD, you can get information on right when you're, when you're looking for cannabis stuff. So you feel, um, I, I am working now with a couple doctors that are actually also Harvard faculty. They have the answers. I think it's the answers, uh, .com is this site. Mm -hmm. Let me look. Um, Mara Gordon has, um, I'm not sure what her site is. Let me see. But if you Google Mara Gordon is an educator, um, let me see if I can pull it up on my, my LinkedIn quick. So um, Greenflower, they, they put out some good information early on. I'm not sure where that's at right now. Mm -hmm. um, so they did more like speaker kind of stuff. Right. Um, there's um, doctors for regulation or the, the Knox doctors have mm -hmm. a, um, they have information, they work with doctors and medical professionals. So I think it's also like, what is the information they're looking for? Right, obviously, a yeah. Medical professional looking for a medical because they medical professionals they don't really like listen to me. I mean, they'll appease me in person, but they don't really listen, right? I need my my doctors to talk to them for them to really hear, and so that goes. I mean, everything's about who's your target and and who's going to hear. Otherwise, you're just right. 
That's what yeah. I did for years, years. Blah, 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 blah. So um, I think that, oh, man, I got to get you. I'm going to look. Maybe we can post some stuff. Yeah, if you send me a list, I'll put it in the comments because I think it would I think it would help some people for sure who are out there trying to find some find some real yeah, information. Zelda's is Mara Gordon's, and she, it's a brand, but I know she's a lot of education out there as well. So so um, look at her. I think uh, let me get a list for you, Chris. Because, let me think about it because there's different. You know, there's different events that are more for. Mm -hmm. um, like Canada, Canada Tech is a really global event out of Israel, and they go across the globe. Right. Um, I medicine, um, so yeah, there's some different different sites because if you go to them, the reason I bring up the event is then they can see what doctors are speaking. Most mm -hmm. of those have websites or information also. Right. Um, uh, Sorry, my, my phone was ringing. So, yes, yeah, so I think, but I, I mean, this is truly why we're putting this this channel and network together is um, to, to get those under one umbrella. Cannabis, right. The Cannabis Nurses Network, uh, CNNC, mm -hmm. it is, they have information. So, again, if a nurse wants to learn, who are they going to listen to? Another nurse. That's right. just how it is. Um, so, yeah. I'll get you some stuff. Cool. This is I, oh, our friend who's watching, Kurt Robbins, really good educator. Um, he's he's launching a course, I think this month or next next month. He's really he did he's our educational elf. <laughs> That's <laughs> he, awesome. He puts out information on terpenes and our endocannabinoid system, and um, I know he's been putting working on a, a in a real course for people to take so mm -hmm. um that'd be good you know people like you are going to put information out for speaking so even when you're doing your brands you gotta speak right you know so i yeah. i think like people need to just understand that there's a lot of work involved with creating your own business even if it's a small business even if it's just your own business. right right absolutely when you add people it becomes like you're responsible for them too and and making sure things happen so and clients mm -hmm. so we got to think about the th those are the things we think about yeah i'm crazy stuff. well that's awesome well um with that i'm gonna say we're gonna wrap it up because this is awesome i can't even believe this much time's already gone by i felt like it's been like 10 minutes and it's already been 45 minutes amazing no, so yeah. So much awesome information to share. It's been great. I hope everybody watching this has uh, has learned something. Please make sure you connect with Carrie. Carrie, what's the best way for people to connect with you and reach out to you? So for me, uh, my email is Carrie, K-E-R-R-I at 420media.us. LinkedIn is great. Um, Carrie Accardi is my last name. And then really, I mean, we're on social, all social. Right. Uh, business uh, number 917-420-1336 if you need to call. And, you know, I think it's 420 Media underscore, 420 underscore media on Twitter. And then Instagram is 420 Media Agency. Awesome. So all these, yeah. And they'll see you soon, Chris, because we'll be, Having to share your performance yes. for our holidays. <laughs> My <program>. special performance. <laughs> yeah, so make sure everybody uh, gets ready for uh, the 420 Media Holidays. Uh, make sure you, you subscribe on YouTube uh, so you don't miss this extravaganza, holiday extravaganza that's happening this week. Um, and uh, it'll be funny. And you get to see me do my my little special thing. <laughs> It's really good. It's, you're, you're worth it in itself, Chris. I'll, I'll, I'll keep my day job. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I want to thank you. Thank you, everybody who watches the show, who's watching it live. And for everybody that's going to watch the replay, thank you guys so much for your support. Thanks for everybody who's listening to this and will be listening to it as the audio podcast. I want to thank you guys so much. Thanks for everybody who subscribes, reshares, does all the stuff, comments, interacts. Can't do this without everybody. And all your support. So I really appreciate it. 
And I want to thank Carrie Cardi once again for coming on from Ford 20 Media and hanging out with us and, and rocking it with us here today. And uh, I want to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday. And we will definitely see you next week for a live edition of Rocket Live. So remember, be authentic, be yourself, and always remember to rock it.